Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega Genesis games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick, and easy tutorial. On screen right now, you can see me playing some Sonic. Let's jump right into this. First thing I want to do is open up your Play Store, and we're going to be searching for Sega Genesis Emulator Free. From here, we're going to be looking for the emulator G Gens in brackets MD, and that's going to be our free Sega Genesis emulator, and it's super effective and it works really well. Once that's installed, you're going to want to open up the emulator, and if it's your first time opening it, you will have to allow the emulator access to your phone storage. It's at this point I should mention that this app does have some ads floating about it, but they're really just small and minuscule. They come up not so often, thankfully, but they're really easy to get started. So once you're ready to start playing your game, simply click the big play button on the middle of the screen, and we're going to click the load game button on the top. From here, we're going to be locating to where your games are. I'm not going to be showing you in today's video where to find games, but games are really easy to find. A quick Google search will help you out. Once you've located to where your games are, mine are in download and mine are right here. As you can see at the bottom, I have my Sonic. Thankfully, you do not need to extract your game, so you don't need Z Archiver in this case. You can simply just click on the game you want to play and your games will start to play. And it's as simple as that. And as you can see, Sonic is loading up straight away. It's a really smooth emulator and it works really, really well. The on-screen buttons are pretty nice to use in this case. There's not very many of them, but of of course you can use a bluetooth controller if you wish i usually recommend people to use bluetooth controllers with emulators on android just because they feel a bit more comfortable and on-screen buttons just don't give the feedback and the resistance that an actual button would and sometimes it just feels a little bit janky in this case it's okay there's just very little buttons and it felt for pretty responsive in this case if you guys enjoyed this tutorial be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new if you want to recommend some other tutorials i should do let me know in the comments down below i'm gonna leave two videos on screen the one on the left is going to be my most recent upload and the one on the right is going to be one that youtube most suggests that you will watch so you should probably check it out because it's apparently for you anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace